All right, I'm just gonna do a review of this trailer. Also, real quick, I just wanna say that this isn't sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I just think it's a pretty sweet trailer, and if someone's in the market for one of these things, this might uh, kind of show you what what the look element looks like. It is a 2022 model year uh, look trailer element. It is a uh, eight and a half feet wide by 18 feet long with a little bit of a V nose up front. Let me just show you the model number and the payload specs right now. Model number is right there and tire size so payload is 6,633 pounds. And that is with these uh, tandem 5,200 pound heavy duty axles. Well, actually these are the medium duty. You can see they're the six lug. Five lug is 3,500 pound, six lug is 5,200, and eight lug is 8,000, uh, generally speaking. These are the Dexter axles, easy lube. 15 inch tires, sorry, 15 inch wheels. Uh, tires are Trailer King RST. Got some tire shine on there just to give them some sort of sunscreen out here. But yeah, so it's got the, it's got the leaf springs back there. And they're the drop, so it's a low riding height. Unlike a, travel trailer where the axles are flipped so it gives the extra ground clearance but just looking along the side here we've got a vent up there it goes in up there and then the air travels through and out the lower uh, passenger side I'll show you that in a second but this one does have the studs the exposed studs so it's not the it's not the seamless one but We've got LED lights all the way around. Got the Look Trailer logo up there. You can see I've added these American flag stickers with the stripes forward, of course. I did that just because there's so many white trailers out there and they're prone to getting stolen. You need to have a unique identifier. And so that's just helps this one stand out a little bit better than others. So while we're up front here, we've got a diamond plate uh, rock, rock chip uh, board right there. 3,000 sport, 2,000 pound lift capacity, just your manual. And then here is your old fashioned, traditional style coupler, two and five sixteenths inch. And you got your seven, seven pin electrical connector. Um, heavy duty chains and breakaway box right there. I've got a bucket here because I leave, I put it upside down and I strap it on so it protects kind of the jack and the cord a little bit better. So you can see there's a, there's a third cross member. Most trailers or some trailers just have the two, but there's, there's that one in the middle and it's six inches tall, so it's pretty heavy duty. So there's just a people door right here. It's, I don't know, about three feet wide, I'd say. And there's a little hook, just like on travel trailers, to uh, hook the door open. And so it stays open. You can see though, it once caught the wind and kind of put a little dent in the aluminum here. So gotta be mindful of that. But this is, in compliance with the NATM. So it's got the sticker proudly displayed right there. And we'll go in inside in a little bit, but just thought I'd keep work, working around the exterior here. So we've got a little gutter on top of the door. It's kind of nice. Here's the tandem axles again on this side. We try to park it on boards to level it out because this has been sitting here for a long time and we just want to keep it level so you can see there's the element sticker that's the model name and then we've got the uh, vent exhaust from that other side let me step back and get a bigger picture of this thing it is seven and a half feet tall 
so it's got the extra height on the inside which is nice here's the big back gate I've got two latches just like normal you can see it's still got the temporary tag from Colorado and LED lights everywhere we've got reflectors on the corners got these little skid plates here for pulling in and out of gas stations or whatnot and we've got four of these hinges heavy-duty hinges which have grease zerks on them so that's kind of handy I'll kind of show you this side up close to the trees here but you can see it's got LED reverse lights all the way LED all the way around even has the license plate light up there so I will go ahead and show you the inside while the back gate is closed so it's also got the RV style um, door uh, latch here with the lock two locks on it actually so you've got this one here the full-blown I don't know what you'd call that but that and then you got the house lock so then you can lock yourself inside if you were to like turn this into like an RV or something but taking a look at the door got a nice kick panel it's just uh, plywood otherwise got a nice little uh, recessed step right here but it's just an OSB kind of a wood in here so look at the front now you can see we've got a spare tire in here um, got a couple tie downs in the front so the 18 feet is the the whole the whole section leading up to where the V part uh, starts and so that's just kind of a bonus but looking at the door here sorry it's kind of dark there's the door you've got a little thing to keep your registration or keys and whatnot right there and we've got the vent that's what it looks like on the inside kind of panning around you can see we've got the, these wheel wells they are I don't know if I wouldn't call them drivable <laughs> obviously because they're like a brick but they are pretty heavy duty. You can stack stuff on it without worrying about it uh, crushing in. I just wouldn't drive a Jeep or something over it, you know. So we don't have power, but there is a light for when you're connected to the truck. Actually, there's two, two LEDs in here. They also have a manual switch on them, on and off. And while we're looking at the roof, you can see it is just that aluminum uh, with these, uh, I guess you'd call them trusses of sorts, but it is a uh, steel and you got a piece of wood kind of in between to create that curvature for rain and, and stuff, something to uh, mount stuff to the ceiling if you had to. So take, a, take another look down here. This is just a pallet from when we were hauling some furniture, it's still in here. But these are recessed hooks. This is just the way the trailer came. This isn't like a car hauler model or anything. This is just the cargo trailer, basic. Uh, but it does come with those uh, two up front and two in the back. So you can see there's another, there's the vent exit from the inside. So it always keeps fresh air in here if you've got like, gasoline containers or something that need to be vented so yep just wood basic wood walls and floors all the way around you can see here's the here's the spring system for the big door I'll open that up here in a second and while we're still back here I'll show you it's kind of hard to see but the floor does kind of taper off and create a little dovetail so it's easier to get low profile cars in here if you wanted to kind of a look at the front so i don't know if you see there's like some tire tracks in here uh 
I'm not sure if the dealer who sold this trailer was testing it out or what, but we haven't hauled a car or truck in here yet. But when we do, I can make another video of fitment and stuff. But you can see the tires should actually go right in between these wheel wells. And you should have plenty of room width-wise for your average vehicle. And then the extra height is definitely a nice bonus. So I would recommend that. Here, if this is still up, it's just kind of the brochure. You've got uh, electric brakes on both axles, you know, reinforced welds, all that stuff. Just kind of show, show this here. So, yep, pretty basic. Just thought I'd kind of show, show you around this thing. Now to the gate. So it's got these handles here you can grab onto. I'm pretty short though, so I'm gonna have to go to this one. Now there's a, now there's a branch in the way. So you can see, I've just got a couple fingers here and it's pretty much just going down by itself. So you do have these two cables you gotta watch out for. You don't wanna run into those while you're loading this thing. But that is the gate right there. Let me back up again. So there's the gate. This is same height as the tra trailer, obviously, so seven and a half feet tall. But it, this is a nice upgrade here. It is a little piece of wood that you can flip out so that it bridges the gap uh, and extends this a little bit farther so that it creates less of an angle when you're loading stuff. But here's a look at that gap. This thing is pretty dirty, but you can see there is a rubber seal down there. So that kind of helps keep things cleaner in here. Now that it's lighter, I can kind of show you Show you what that looks like. So, yeah, so that's that. I will kind of show you lifting this thing back up, how easy it is. That just folds back down. Just, a, just one handed. Hang on, there's a tree branch. There's a tree branch stuck. <clears throat> All right. So that's a little more difficult than I thought, uh, but because that tree branch was getting in the way there. But all in all, definitely doable for a single person to use. And yeah, let me just give you a shot of the undercarriage too while we're down here. So you can see there is exposed wood, uh, but I mean, they do a good job with painting. Like there's no rust on this thing, unlike a lot of modern trailers. It's painted nicely, fully coated. Not fully undercoated, because there's the exposed wood showing, but the metal is fully coated, which is nice. So. All right, well, that's just kind of a basic basic review of this thing. I can do a can do another review of this car hauler. It's a, also an 18 footer. It's just a flatbed trailer for the most part. And I made a video on one of them a couple years ago. This is actually 2021, but I can make another video of this later. I've got it all covered up it's just sitting out here in the woods pretty much and yeah 
but here's the trailer. Thanks for watching. Drop any questions you have in the comments.